Hi. Hello. It's me. Well, yeah, I know it's strange. Your stepmother speaking to you like this. When I even don't know where you are or if you will get this message. But I need to do it. I need to say something. I need to hear myself say it. I need to get it off my chest. And well, let's face it. Since you left without even a word of goodbye, you haven't given me many options, have you? So how are you? Wherever you are. I hope it's somewhere nice. And please be careful. You're, you're still a boy. You're too young, too good, too innocent, too, too simple to be wandering abroad. I worry about you. And though it seems so long ago, I find myself wondering... Were you? Did you? Really? Were you really here? I mean, did you ever? And then I see something of you. Something that you left behind. That t-shirt, perhaps. Or that ring that I gave you. The one you liked. Did you like it? I never knew. You had your heart set on other things. We're under the spell of different gods, you and me. We must be careful. Gods can be cruel. And don't think yours will let you off lightly. Your father doesn't seem too bothered. Oh, he'll come back, he said. He'll do him good. It's about time he showed himself a man. And you are that all right. It's just that you don't know it. Yet, anyone could see. I don't know where you are. And that hurts, I can tell you. I thought of writing you a letter. An old-fashioned letter. But what would be the point? And anyway, you could always tear it apart. I can see you in on some shore, walking along, reading my letter, the waves crashing about you like wild horses. And you, with a smile and sad little laugh, tearing my heart to pieces and throwing it to the winds. I could not stand that. So I speak these words alone, hoping that you will hear me. Beauty always carries a sting. Know that? And you have beauty enough to spare. And poison too. Sometimes I hate you. But not often. It's not easy, you know, being your stepmother. 
the job comes with a lot of expectations. Your mother was a formidable woman by all accounts. Oh, I don't think that we would ever have got along. I've heard a lot about her, but even she couldn't cheat death. Even so, I was the right prize to catch. Oh, yeah. I suited your father. Well connected, rich. I looked good on his arm. People talked about him. Me, especially me, which is what he likes. And you were there too. His beautiful son, you God, so beautiful. You look good together. Don't get in the way, he once said to me when I step in front of him. Oh, I, I never did after that. But I kept my eyes open. I looked, I saw, I heard, and what I looked, I saw, I felt was you, you, the better part in him. I can remember the moment, remember it exactly. When I knew there was no turning back, you'd come in from riding or something and you were standing at the Bosch Basin, naked to the waist. And I thought, my God, I've never seen anything, anyone so beautiful. You noticed me and you covered yourself. Your shyness was so, so endearing, so sweet, so tender. So. You had a bruise on your shoulder and I went to touch it. Here, I said, let me look. And after just a little hesitation, you turned your shoulders to me. And without the slightest compunction, I kissed it. That's when I knew. The next day you'd left. Without leaving, no address, no word. Nothing. But I remember the look in your eyes, you know. For just a moment, the light of pleasure. And I knew you'd felt it too. Lena's curse. It is a curse, you know. Love. You're not immune to it. You think you are, but you're not. You might think you serve a better God, a higher God, but I tell you, they don't care for you. Better to worship one that does. Your father's gone away. Do you know that? Just after you left. He's gone on one of his little trips. I don't know where, I didn't ask, he didn't say. 
He's gone with his friend. I can bear to mention his name. They get along too well. He barely mentioned your name before he left. I don't think he notices you. I don't think he notices anything much beyond what he wants. Unless he gets in his way. He thinks I'm fond of you. A good stepmother to his lovely son. Well, so I am. I have your interests close to my heart. Closer than you can ever imagine. I've arranged a little surprise for you. Private tuition. You need never go to school again. Even if you don't like it. If you want to play music, you shall have the best instruments in the world, the best teachers. Or science, perhaps you will unlock the secret of the universe. You could do it, you're smart enough. <laughs> I've arranged for a telescope to be installed so that you can gaze at the stars. And I've bought you a stable full of horses all the way from Arabia. I've even bought your library. The best of everything. The world's wisdom is all there waiting for you. Of poetry you know enough. It's in your heart. It's just that you don't know it yet. So let me bring it out. No one needs to know except us. Let the gods do their worst. It's hopeless to resist and if we must be discreet then so much the better. I will not tolerate a scandal. You will be safe with me. So give up your foolish wandering, Hippolytus. Open your heart to me. Come on home. And think of me here. Alone. <laughs>